welcome back to the Acting Corner with Tree. Yeah. Alright guys, welcome back. I am pumped for today's actor quest, so let's just get started with the lesson. So today's lesson is talking about the second W. Now if you remember, I mentioned three W's in our last two videos, and those three W's are the three things that actors focus on when we're creating a scene. Do you guys remember them? Who? <laughs> what? And where so where is important because where is our setting right so every story takes place somewhere I mean it wouldn't be Alice in Wonderland if there was no Wonderland right <laughs> so that's what we're focusing on today our where where does our story take place if my name is Sue and Sue is eating an ice cream cone or Sue is taking a job. Or Sue is arguing with someone. Where is Sue doing these things? It's kind of hard to tell a story about Sue if I can't say where she is. And it's even harder to be Sue if I don't know where she is. So let's focus on where today. Okay, so one thing I like to do to help you guys understand setting is to do a simple exercise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up, we're gonna find a room in our house, maybe our favorite room, and we're gonna close our eyes. And we're gonna take a deep breath, we're gonna take in this room, and we're gonna walk around. Open your eyes again. <laughs> and we're gonna walk around and we're gonna touch everything in the room. Touch every little piece of furniture, everything around you, and really get a sense, a strong sense of that room and your presence in it and the space around you. How far is your chair from you? Um, where's the TV? You want to focus on all these things so you can fully take that room in because we're going to recreate it. minutes or so and then we're gonna get moving so once you've fully taken in that room explored it and touched everything I want you to go outside on your porch backyard wherever you can just find some space okay so when you go outside you're gonna use your imagination and your memory to recreate that same space that you just took in so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go outside and you're gonna pretend that you're in that same room that you felt everything in. And you're gonna close your eyes, imagine it, open them and pretend they're there. Everything's there. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna walk around the room as if you were in it again. And you're gonna maybe have a seat where your bed is or if you're in the kitchen, maybe you're gonna walk over to your sink and wash some imaginary dishes, but you have to use your imagination. I mean, all of your senses we need all the senses on deck right now because our imagination is doing all of this work for us so this whole strategy is called pantomiming pantomiming is acting without props a prop if you guys don't know what a prop is a prop is something you use in the scene so if i'm sue and sue is eating an apple that apple is the prop so what we're doing is we're essentially practicing so we're gonna create this prop in our head. So maybe an apple's about this big. And maybe I get a real apple. Got it? Feel the apple. It's about this big. It fits in my palm, right? Now, what does it feel like to take a bite? Ooh, it's juicy. Mm. So. So I remember that apple was not this big. I held my hand like this big at first. But now that I've felt the real apple, I know it's eh, about this small. Oh man, now this is juicy. It's sweet, just like the real apple I just ate. All right, pantomiming. So that's the point, guys. We're not using any real props. 
No real props, okay? Only what we have from our imagination and what we can create with our body. Another example, if you're drinking coffee, the coffee mug, you're not gonna just walk around like this with it. It's gonna be heavy, a little heavy, and you're not gonna wanna spill it. So maybe you're not gonna hold it as tight, you know? Or maybe you take a sip. Oh, and it's hot. It's hot. So this coffee is as real as I wanna make it. And your scene, your room, the things in that room that you're gonna recreate will be as real as you make them. All right? You guys ready for our actor quest today? Actor quest! Today's actor quest is to go in that room, take in the space, go outside, recreate the space without props, using pantomiming. But! You have to include someone in your scene. Can you do it? Can you get someone to really believe where you are? Can you get someone to guess which room you're in? Maybe you just hand them the remote and say, hey, change the channel for me. Or maybe you say, hey, can you pass me the toilet tissue? All of these things will help make that space real and help your partner figure out what you're doing. Get them to interact with you in the room. I'm telling you, it's gonna be a fun time. And I wanna know two things. I wanna know if it was hard creating that space, and I want to know if they actually pantomimed with you, if you got someone to join you. Because if you did, you've completed our actor quest. All right, guys, that completes our lesson today. My name is Tree. This is my acting corner, and I'll see you guys next week. Acting corner,